Hey there, and welcome back to the Homemade Haven. My name is Brooke, and this is Reagan. And today we're gonna be making some homemade laundry detergent and dishwashing detergent. Now, we usually buy the cleanest that we can find from the store. Um, there's still some ingredients that are in them that are maybe a little bit questionable. I don't know how to pronounce them, and it just makes me feel a little bit better when I know exactly what ingredients are going into the products that we are putting into our mouths and on our skin and breathing in. Um, so we're gonna try these products out. We found these recipes online and I will put the exact recipes below in the description and we'll let you guys know exactly how well they work and if we're going to keep using them. But as far as the cost, um, it seems like it's gonna be a lot cheaper and it is a relatively easy recipe for the both of them so it doesn't seem like it's gonna pit that much more on our plate as far as our weekly routine or monthly routine, however often we're gonna to need to make this. So the dishwashing detergent that we normally use is um, the palm olive Eco, and this is phosphate free, um, and pretty much the only um, disclaimer that it has. It has some, some products in it that I'm not exactly sure what they are. It says that it's good for the environment and all that, friendly to lakes and streams. Um, I used to use seventh generation before and then they put out some publicity things that I didn't really agree with. So we, um, just kind of get whatever we have locally that seems like it's the cleanest. I don't love or hate this brand. It's just we'd rather try something a little more natural and something that we have a little bit more control over. The laundry detergent that we've been using is the Ecos brand. It's plant-powered, non-toxic, made without dyes, formaldehyde, phthalates, um, all kinds of other things it says it's a safer choice um and again we don't love it don't hate it it just is what it is um so i'm interested to see how much better or worse these natural um recipes that we use will work for us and we are excited to share them with you guys so let's get started First, we're gonna start with two parts of baking soda. I used um, one cup measurements, but you can use any measurement that you want. And we just used regular old Arm & Hammer. If you want something that's more clean and organic, you can certainly use that in the place of this one. And then we use some washing soda, also by Arm & Hammer. And it also requires two parts in this recipe. Then next we add one part salt, and you can use any kind of salt that you want. We used our Redmond's Real Salt that we use for canning, um, just because it's what we had on hand. Next, we add one part of citric acid. Ours was a bit clumpy. It's been in the pantry for a little while, and I guess the humidity got to it because it decided to come out in rocks. But no worries if that happens. Just break it up into a powder like it's meant to be and just stir it really well. And 
And then we add some essential oils for a little bit of smell. This doesn't really do anything for the washing. It's just more um, to smell nice whenever you put it into the dishwasher. And we used about 10 to 15 drops of both lemon and orange essential oil. So nice and fresh. Have it that's it so for our homemade laundry detergent we're going to start off with a whole bar of soap which we used a Dr. Bronner's bar, the almond scented one, which smells amazing. You could really use any bar of soap that you want, but if you're going for a clean recipe, find yourself a clean soap. Then we're going to add two parts of washing soda. You can see Reagan is diligently working on grating that bar of soap. You could definitely put this into a food processor to make it a whole lot easier. So. Then we're going to add two parts of baking soda. and also two parts of borax. These are all super easy ingredients to find at your local store or order online. After a while, I took over the grating for Reagan. It is a good arm workout, really. But you just want the soap to be in small pieces so that it mixes well into your detergent and it's easier to melt while it's in the washing cycle. And then lastly, if you want to add more fragrance, which we did, we added some cedarwood and vanilla oil. To ours because it complemented the almond smell really well. Just stir it up really good so that everything is even. You can kind of see the consistency is going to be easy for the water to melt and break down. And then, of course, you have to make a label. I think that's half the fun of homemade products. Pretty jars and labels. And then put it to use and see how it does. All right, so it has been a couple days since we've been using our homemade dishwasher detergent and um, laundry detergent. And 
so far so good. I'm really impressed actually. Um, I figured that there might be um, some remaining smells or even some spots on our clothes or on our dishes that just didn't get cleaned off enough. A, a lot of times with your natural um, products, it just doesn't seem to be on par with what your commercial products are, but I haven't had any of those issues. So I should have taken a before video and showed you just how nasty these clothes were. These are actually some things that were left in the back of Robert's truck for, it's been months. And um, they got used as rags for the dog's mouth when we were out at the land and didn't have a towel. Um, they've been rolling around with chainsaw grease and just all kinds of stuff. Um, but they got thrown into the wash last night and came out this morning and there's nothing on them and I'm really shocked and impressed. And as far as the smell goes, they don't smell bad, they smell clean. Um, the detergent smell doesn't carry over um, once it's been washed and rinsed off. So I think if you're looking for more of a lasting scent on your clothes that you're gonna wanna do that in the drying process. Um, I think just going through the washing process, it just removes all of that extra scent, um, which isn't a big deal. I mean, your clothes still come out smelling fresh. They don't stink um, like they may have before you put them in the wash. Um, so if you want more of a smell, if you want to use like a natural dryer sheet, we've used, um, I have Method brand that I'm finishing up. I don't necessarily love that one either because it does have a lot of extra fragrances and chemicals that probably aren't great on our skin or for us to be breathing in. So um, as an alternative, I've used these before and I, I do enjoy using them. I need to get some more oil that I really like. So once I have a, a restock of oil, I'll start using these again. But these are wool dryer balls um, and they're just made out of sheep's wool that has been matted into these balls um, and you just put whatever kind of essential oil you want on them. I've been using Purification by Young Living and I really love the way that it smells. It's lemony and kind of gingery, just very fresh and clean. Um, and I just put like two or three drops per wool ball and you don't always have to do it for every load. You can, um, you know, go every two or three loads depending on how much scent you like left on your clothes. Um, but these wool balls last for a really long time and um, they do help cut down on some of the static that's in your load. Um, the real trick to that is not over drying your clothes. As far as the laundry portion of this goes, I'm really happy with it and I probably will continue to make this. Now, as far as the dishes go, I'm also really impressed with them. Um, I just ran my first load with them last night and I was kind of expecting a little bit of residue left over this morning, but there was nothing. Everything came out really clean and clear. The dishwasher itself is clean. There's no buildup, no residue, nothing left inside of the trap there. Um, I washed some glasses and there's no soap scum or anything that's left over. Everything looks nice and clean. So I'm happy with it. Um, this is also a recipe that I think I will continue to use. A lot of times I start making things that are homemade, natural, you know, clean ingredient things, but the process of making them gets tiresome and after a while it's easy just to go back to the store-bought stuff. But as you could see from earlier in this video, the recipes are really easy to make and it only took us a couple minutes to do it. Um, so if we can make this in bulk, maybe once a month or so, I don't foresee any issue why we would need to return to store-bought products in the future. As far as the cost goes for these homemade products, it's really, pennies on the dollar compared to what you pay for the store-bought products, especially if you're going with ones that are 
um, minimal ingredients and you know labeled clean or um, safe to use that sort of thing then they're gonna charge you a premium because they know that there are not any other products on the shelf that qualify for that so for our whole list of ingredients that we use for both the dishwashing detergent and the laundry detergent we spent maybe $20 total and that's gonna last us for months and months on end. So I feel like this was a great investment and it's something that, you know, is obviously gonna save us money and is just overall better for our health and well being. So I'm gonna call this a win all around. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new and maybe something that's useful, helpful budget friendly for your household as well. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the space down below. And make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our upcoming content. And we'd just love to have you follow along on our adventures. For today, that is it. We will see you guys on the next one. Bye.